historically we've had the northeast has been a region with a very high rate of smoking and as a consequence we've had all of the diseases that have been uh, associated with smoking over the years in much larger numbers than elsewhere we've made good good progress over the last few years one of the things that's made a difference to that is really curtailing the advertising and the efforts of the tobacco industry to replace those people who've died from using their products um, we've been seeing in the last few years a, a reduction in the number of young people taking up smoking which is really encouraging but more efforts in that direction are needed and personally I think that the tobacco companies should pay more for what they've inflicted on the population. A levy would be a good way of doing that. I don't think it is surprising that we see high levels of support in the Northeast for action on smoking including things like a a levy on tobacco companies. We've known for a long time that there's a very strong uh, degree of support in the population for giving up smoking, even among smokers. Even for people who smoke, we know that most of them actually would choose not to smoke. 60 or 70 percent of smokers want to give up, and they certainly don't want the ch their children to have that habit and damage their health uh, as a consequence. It's right that tobacco companies should pay more than they do because they make something like 1.5 billion pounds a year in profit. In the Northeast, the cost of smoking is around 630 million pounds a year for health and social care, but that doesn't include all of the damage it does to families, all of the costs to individuals, the pain and suffering that is a consequence of smoking. That's why I think there should be a levy.